Today marks the six-month anniversary of that massive tornado ripping through Joplin, Missouri. 161 people killed. We've seen the destruction. Nearly a third of the city destroyed. Karen Brown went back to Joplin and found a community that is busy healing and rebuilding. There is a metamorphosis underway in Joplin, Missouri. The house that you lost, how long had you lived here? 44 years. Joe Greer's house is one of the nearly 3,000 already being rebuilt. This is uh, soon to be kitchen. Six months ago. That was the three bedrooms and the bathroom was up, up top. She and her son Jeff were inside when the tornado ripped it apart. I thought that was pretty well going to be it, you know. Once the roof started going, I just thought it was just going to completely smash us, you know. You thought you were going to lose your mind. Yeah, I did. I'm just so thankful that he was here with me. I probably wouldn't be here. They survived in the basement. We come up the steps, and she looked over my shoulder, and she went like that. She's like, oh, my God. And I grabbed her, and I was like, don't you die on me now, you know? We made it. She said, that's my whole life. I said, you know what? It's just stuff. You're my whole life, and you're alive. With only 14,000 from FEMA, volunteers have done most of the work on Joe's home and hundreds of others. We've had um, over 100,000 uh, registered volunteers that have come to Joplin. We refer to it as the miracle of the human spirit. City manager Mark Rohr took us on a tour. Even the decimated Walmart is back up and running. Nearly half of the homes damaged are being rebuilt. Those people would take time out of their lives and their routine to come to our city to help us is um, very moving, very touching. There are so many more good people out there. I mean, we're not alone. Volunteers helped reconstruct Diane Huddleston's home. Not only was it destroyed. Where was Emily in this car? She was right behind the driver, which was my husband, Kenny. But when her family was thrown hundreds of feet in this suburban, her daughter Emily's leg was cut to the bone. Something in the car that had flown in, I'm guessing, had just took a chunk. And her dad started carrying her, and Kenny fell. He fell to the ground to his knees with her in his arms. And he started crying. And Emily just looked at him and said, it's OK, Dad. Let me walk. Just hold me. We had went into a dentist office that we landed by. Yeah. And we were in the basement. In this damaged building, Emily says she felt a calming presence. I remember on this shoulder, a hand touched me like right here. And they told me everything was going to be OK. It's actually really weird, but ever since then, I'll be walking outside and a butterfly will come and land on me. It's, Actually land on you? Yeah. Emily sent us these photos. What about these butterflies that land on her? Oh, she's, they're just, it's amazing. I mean, she's, she's got a whole new open spirit about her. Emily is not alone. Stories of children seeing butterflies, some say guardian angels during the tornado, are so prevalent, kids draw them in school, and they cover the town's new mural commemorating the storm. There was somebody watching over us, yeah. With more volunteers every week, the Greers believe there is a butterfly effect in Joplin. I would really love to be able to have Christmas in this house. Wow. I don't know if we're working at it. You can put a butterfly on the tree? I'll put <laughs> butterflies everywhere if that's what it takes. Karen Brown, CBS News, Joplin, Missouri.